Hello, welcome to my channel. Thanks for checking out today's video. My name is Chris. Today we are doing a video about this Heli Hansen um, Odin Stretch Insulator Jacket 2.0. So, um, big name, but really nice jacket. So this um, jacket, we're going to dive into this. I'm going to tell you all about it. This is uh, a pretty popular jacket from Heli Hansen and for a good reason. So it has a lot of uh, really nice features here. Um, things we're going to talk about um, to tell you, you know, what this jacket's used for, how it fits, how it layers with other pieces, and, you know, I'll give you as much as I can about it. Um, if you're new here to the channel, you know, welcome. Thank you for checking it out. I appreciate your time. Um, Please check out the playlist here on the channel. I have all different categories of jackets and stuff broken down so that you can hopefully find things that you're looking for a little bit easier. I have a ton of videos here, probably around 200 at this point, um, on all kinds of uh, different outdoor apparel for hiking, trekking, climbing, skiing, snowboarding, all that fun stuff and whatever you want to do outside, camping, fishing, the whole bit. Um, my website, um, meandmyjackets.com, is basically designed um, to help you find what to wear when you go out there. Um, from base layers, to jackets, to pants, to boots, even some backpacks and sunglasses. So everything you need to keep you warm, dry, comfortable, and enjoy your time outdoors that much more. So <clears throat> please check that out. But anyway, we're going to jump right on into this video and tell you all about this jacket. All right, so this is an Odin series jacket from Heli Hansen, which basically means their, their Odin line is um, designed for mountain use. Um, all kinds of activities up in the mountains. This particular jacket is a synthetically insulated jacket. It has Primaloft Gold Active Plus insulation. Now, I couldn't find an exact number as far as the uh, grams per square meter of insulation inside of this, but I'm going to take a, a, a really pretty good guess here, and I'm going to say it's going to be around a 60 mark, um, something similar to like an Atom LT, you know, the Atom jacket. Um, maybe not quite as heavy as the Proton, you know, which is an 80 grams. Uh, insulation, but uh, I would say more like the Atom of around 60. Um, it is a really nice warm jacket, but what um, really sets this jacket apart is that it's the Primaloft Active Plus insulation is a very breathable insulation. And the face fabric here on this jacket um, reminds me a lot of the Arteryx Proton. So this is a, a breathable jacket. It's designed for high output activities and it has a two-way stretch fabric. So it's great if you're climbing, skiing, you know, whatever you're doing, there's a lot of movement, you're stretching, you're moving around. Um, this is going to be a great piece, not only for the movement, but for the breathability. So um, it's been a really popular piece for Heli Hansen um, for that reason. Now the outer face fabric also does have a DWR coating on it. It's a PFC uh, free coating, but uh, it's really nice because it will allow some light rain and moisture to beat up here and run off. Um, what I find, what I really like with these jackets is, you know, when they do get wet, um, the little water beads kind of beat up on it. And if you just kind of shake it, you know, shake it a little bit, all the water just like flies off and it's like dry again. So it's a really nice, um, you know, thing to have. Now, it's not waterproof, okay? It's, you know, it's water resistant. So light rain, light moisture, you should be fine in here. If you're out in a pouring rain for a long period of time, um, eventually it's going to soak through. Now, being that it is a synthetic insulated jacket, okay, a synthetic insulation, um, it has the ability to still keep you warm if it gets wet. Whereas a down insulation, um, if it gets wet, all the little feathers basically clump together and it loses its loft, so to speak. So it loses its insulating abilities. So a synthetically insulated jacket will continue 
to still be able to keep you warm even if the insulation does get wet all right but you know i mean obviously you don't want to really get this jacket wet if you know it's going to be raining outside if it's going to be pouring you're going to want to put a nice shell over top of it um, so let's talk a little bit here the features of this jacket um, first off um, it has a, a a nice hood but the hood is not adjustable now it's not a big hood all right um, so we really don't need much of an adjustment at all um, I really you know my first reaction was like there's no adjustments on this hood and then I put it on I tried it and I said you know what I really don't need it like it really fits nicely Okay, it really fits nicely around the head and, and it's not that big. So obviously if you're going to wear a helmet, it's going to go on top of this and not under it. Um, but it has a nice brim here in the front, just enough to kind of overhang so any water that runs off the hood will, you know, fall off and not into your face. So a nice um, collar or, you know, around, it zips up, it's very comfortable under the chin. It's just a really nice setup. The other feature that it has basically being that it is meant for high output activities and breathability, um, it does have some little fleece panels here under the, the underarms. Um, and inside the jacket, those fleece panels, it's a nice soft fleece. I can't really see it here, I and mean, you see it in a picture behind me. Um, so it, you know, really nice. It adds a little more um, flexibility uh, in the jacket and breathability. So, you know, jackets, like I mentioned before, the Arteryx, the Atom, um, you know, has a fleece panel down the entire side. This just has it under the armpit here, but still nice feature. Now, um, chest pocket. It has one nice chest pocket up here. It's a decent size. It's an average size chest pocket. It's nothing huge and cavernous, but it's not that small. So it's definitely a, a decent size pocket here. Two nice pockets on the sides, definitely. And you can see the stretch here in this jacket. Okay, so it does have some stretch. It does have some movement. Um, on the bottom here, there is a pull cord. You can adjust the hem around the bottom, tighten it up to seal out some cold weather. Um, other than that, the one feature that I want to spend a little bit of time on and tell you about here is the cuffs on this jacket. So you can see the picture up here behind me. It just looks like an ordinary cuff, but <clears throat> it's a little different. Basically what I want you to imagine is that on the end of this sleeve, there's a black cuff that comes off maybe another inch or so, right? Inch, inch and a half um, over your wrist. Let's just pretend that, okay? There's another strip here that's attached to it. It's, it's a, a flexible, stretchy band that goes over here, all right? Um, so with this jacket, you don't see that, but it's actually there, all right? What Helly Hansen has done with this jacket is basically, um, again, imagine that black, you know, um, elastic band is around the front here. They have taken it and turned it inside out and put it inside the jacket. Okay, um, it's kind of hard to see here. Again, a picture up behind me. If I turn this inside out, there's a black band here. Um, so literally it's like turned inside out inside the jacket. So the jacket actually kind of comes over and curls back in. Um, the band here inside is a nice, um, I'm not tight, but it's snug. It, it, it holds my wrist, you know, pretty, pretty snug here. Um, so it definitely seals out all the weather. All right. Kind of an interesting little feature here. Now I have noticed that, I mean, it's not a big deal. But I'll show you here in a minute. I have a layer here I'm going to put underneath it. Sometimes um, when I have the layer on underneath it, that band, it's, it's snug. So the sleeve on the layer underneath it um, usually ends up falling short of it, okay, because it's tight and it's not going through. Um, if you want this end of the sleeve to come through a little bit further, you're actually going to have to pull it out. 
All right, um, not a big deal. Again, it's a nice feature on this jacket because it really does seal up your your um, you know wrists. But it's just a little different design, right? Again, instead of having that elastic band on the end, it's inside the jacket. So, <clears throat> very cool. Now, inside the jacket, there are no pockets. All right, there are no pockets here. This just has the chest pocket and the two pockets here on the sides. But the inside of the jacket is, you know, it's a nice satiny, silky material, very comfortable. This jacket actually feels great when it's on. Um, you know, <laughs> I've said this in some of my other videos. Once in a while, I get a piece, I get it, you know, brand new, I get it out of the box, out of the bag, whatever. And you just put it on and you say, oh yeah, you know, this fits nice. Like this feels really nice. You know, a lot of the jackets do, but some of them just seem to stick out with me a little bit more. Um, this is one of them. I feel that this jacket fits me absolutely perfectly. Um, I am six foot two, 215 pounds. Uh, this is a size extra large, as well as this um, base layer here, or it's a fleece, I'll put that on in a minute. Um, it's a, all a size extra large. And I mean, this jacket fits really nice and trim. It's not tight, you know, it's not, I have room to move. It's, it's honestly just, perfect on me. Um, <laughs> the other thing with the fit on this jacket is I've noticed that it's it's a little shorter, okay? Not a lot, but just a little, you know, an inch or so shorter than some of my other jackets. Uh, you can see here on the back too, um, it's got plenty of length, but in the front here it comes up on the sides and I just feel like it's just a little, little bit shorter. Um, Whereas I've had some fleece layers underneath here that actually stick out further underneath, you know, here than, than this jacket. The jacket's shorter. Um, this particular fleece, I'm going to put this on in a minute to show you a layer. This is the Heli Hansen HP 2.0 fleece. So this is a really popular fleece from Heli Hansen and it is um, <clears throat> kind of like a mid-weight fleece. Um, and it's a shorter jacket as well. So I chose this for the video here um, simply because both of these jackets are a little bit shorter in the length, um, so they fit together perfectly. <laughs> All right, so we'll put that on in a minute. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you know, talking about <clears throat> the fit here. So it is nice and trim, okay? It really does fit nice. Um, I don't have a lot of room underneath it for heavier layers, all right? Um, I've tried it with a, a pile fleece from Heli Hansen, and it fit, but it was getting a little, a little snug on me, at least, okay? It's the way it fits me. Everybody's going to be different, but I'm just trying to give you a little guide. Um, I also have a lightweight down jacket from Arteryx called the Cerium. Uh, I tried that on underneath here and that just felt restricting. It felt a little tight. So I think, at least for me, the cut of this jacket being trimmer, I like to stick with just lightweight fleeces. All right. Um, I think, you know, a light to midweight fleece underneath here is, is going to be perfect. Now, Heli Hansen also has um, the Vardy fleece, uh, which I just did a video about that recently, and that's a little heavier weight fleece, similar to, very similar to the Patagonia uh, Better Sweater and the uh, Arcteryx Covert uh, fleeces. Um, that fit under here nice too, but I think that's going to be about my limit um, for me comfortably. Um, this fleece here, I'll show you this. I do have a whole nother video on this Heli Hansen HP fleece. Um, I have a video with this one uh, combined with the Alpha Zero fleece from Heli Hansen. Um, but uh, this, I just, like I said, I chose this one 
uh, for this video simply because it's a shorter fleece as well. Um, nice trim fit on this. Um, shorter length, but wearing um, this HP fleece underneath <laughs> this Odin Stretch 2.0 is just perfect. All right, so this fits really nice. Now, like I said, the sleeves underneath on my on my fleece layer are actually you know kind of snuck you know stuck up up here. All right, they're not coming all the way through because that band is kind of holding it back. If I want it, I just simply have to kind of pull it out a little bit. And then this jacket will fit on top of it. All right, so I don't know if you can see, um, but I have the fleece layer here just kind of popping through so that the arms on the fleece are extended and, and out nice and long. And then that band comes right on top of it and it's sealing everything. So <laughs> here you go. Um, really nice jacket. I definitely, you know, um, like this a lot. It's, it's, a, it's a really nice piece. It feels great. It fits really nice. And, uh, you know, Helly Hansen is, is a great company. They've been around since the late 1800s. They're out of Norway. Um, their pieces are designed to withstand the conditions up in the, you know, the Norwegian fjords, up in the mountains, you know, in the snow, the glaciers. Um, you know, <laughs> the Arctic Circle. Um, they have some really, really nice pieces that are very well built and uh, just, just a great company all around. I've, I've liked Heli Hansen stuff for a long time. So there you go, all right? The Odin Stretch Insulator Jacket 2.0 with the Heli Hansen HP Fleece 2.0 underneath. It's a great little combination um, and um, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope I you know showed you enough about this jacket and gave you all the all the rundown here. So thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support. Um, it does help out a lot if you appreciate what I do that you subscribe and and uh, you know encourages me and keeps me going and what makes me want to do more and more. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Hopefully we'll see you back soon and check out another video. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye.